In this video, we're going to be comparing decimal numbers. So for our first example up top, we have 3 and 247 thousandths, and we're comparing that to 3 and 964 thousandths. When we're comparing decimals, we want to look at place value by place value. So first we're going to look at the very first number in the ones place. 3 and 3, they're both the same, so we're moving on to the next place value. So we're into the tenths, we have a 2 and a 9. 9 is greater than 2, so we set up our inequality, and this is our answer. 3 and 247 thousandths is less than 3 and 964 thousandths. Now our next example, we have 2 and 9 tenths being compared to 2 and 90 hundredths. Starting with the first place value of the ones, 2 and 2, both the same, moving into the tenths, 9 and 9, still the same, moving into the hundredths, but here there's no number. Whenever we're writing decimals, we can add as many zeros as we need behind the decimal to make our answers work out. So here I'm going to put another zero, and we end up with both of these numbers being equivalent. Our next example, 7 and 2 hundredths being compared to 7 and 2 thousandths. Moving decimal, or sorry, place value by place value, we have 7 in the ones. It's the same, so we move to the next one. We have 0 and 0 in the tenths. Moving to the next place value of the hundredths, 2 and 0. 2 is greater than 0, so we mark our inequality. And our answer becomes 7 and 2 hundredths is greater than 7 and 2 thousandths. 